Good morning. It's it's like 6:20 now, so I got to get my shit together. So I got to get it, heading off to work pretty soon, and it is freaking literally. I think it's on, about freezing outside. I think if it's not freezing, it's damn near it, like within a few degrees. Ah. So, I mean it this time. This might be, today may be my last day I rub my bike. Uh, what the hell. I'm still having fun. It's not bad. Anyway, I want to talk about um, my experience so far with veganism. You know, uh, like I said, my first week, uh, last week, I ate off the diet a couple of times, but not entire meals. And the little bit that I ate off the diet, I felt I needed, rather than just jump right into it, you know, um, 100% into the deep end. Because I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just, figure, I'm just figuring it out, just learning, feeling my way through. So uh, I, I felt my body was craving nutrition that I wasn't providing, um, be it through my inexperience, you know, my novice uh, standing as a vegan. But the amount that I ate off of diet in totality the whole week, anything that I ate that wasn't vegan, uh, you couldn't fill up a whole dinner plate with. You couldn't fill a dinner plate with it. That's, it wasn't, it was like a serving of this, a serving of that. It wasn't anything huge, uh, a little bit of cheese. So now we're into week two and I'm, 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 there's 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 a, a uh, continual theme here. It's becoming very familiar in that I think that eating all these plants leads to the production of a lot of gas. Generates the production of a lot of gas, and my abdominal cavity by the end of the day is so full of gas and pressure that literally in the mirror side profile. I look like I gained, Christ, 10, 15 pounds of fat, you know, from the time I got to work till the time I came home. And then I get up this morning, I look at a mirror side profile, and the profile keeps getting leaner and leaner as the days go on at the, you know, in the morning. So I'm absolutely losing body fat, which I need to do. I have more to lose. But, uh... I mean, it's not like I'm doing it in standard way. I normally have become accustomed to doing it. I'm not doing cardio. I'm not really turning up the protein and playing with the carbs and the fats and I'm not doing any of that. I'm eating as a vegan. And a couple things that are, that are becoming outstanding that I'm noticing for me in my life is that, number one, I get really, really bloated, really bloated by the end of the day, really bloated. Now, I'm, I've been told by people who've been down this road, including Val, that that's going to go away, that that's, you're going to adjust and that's going to wear off and that's just because I'm a newbie at it, you know, that eventually I'm going to adapt and that'll be a thing of the past. So we'll see. Uh, these other vegans I see that are in good shape on, um, on the YouTube here, they don't look like they're all bloated, so I don't know. But yeah, it's... A lot of bloating, a lot of gas, a lot of hot air right now. Now, that's the unpleasant truth of it, that part of it, for as much as it plays a factor. Which it does by the end of the day when I, when I look in the mirror and I look like, Jesus, what in the hell is going on? And then that's what it is, you know. Next day, look in the mirror, it's like, oh, Lord, that, that's... The next day when I look in the mirror, it looks like I lost two pounds of fat, you know, it's, you know, like I start out here in the morning, I get out of bed and then by the end of the day, I look like I'm way, way off scale as far as, you know, with all this bloat and projection and just, it's, it's incredible. And then I get up the next morning and where I was here the previous morning, now I'm like here. So it's, you know. I'm, I'm sticking with it, not, not throwing in the towel on it. I'm sticking with it. But the other thing that I've noticed is recovery. And again, you know, don't, don't uh, 
become irritated with me if you're this experienced vegan and you're like, oh my God, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. I know what I'm talking about that I'm experiencing. I know what I'm experiencing. Uh, you know, it's not like this is a brand new body that I'm just test driving. I know what I'm feeling. I know what I'm experiencing. And it could certainly be because I'm not that well versed in what I'm doing yet. You know, as far as this, this coming at nutrition from a, veg, from a vegan standpoint. You know, so hopefully it's going to improve. That's why I haven't thrown a, thrown a towel in yet. Because uh, this is kind of uncomfortable, a lot of this. And unsettling. And the unsettling thing about the recovery is, if I work out Saturday, and I don't even, I don't even, the workout is not as long in duration, and it's not as high in volume, but the intensity is, for the amount of it that's there, is comparatively similar. It's just the duration is not as long right? I stay sore for days, for days. I'm not accustomed to that. Some people like feeling that soreness. And, and I, I'm, I'm going to admit I'm tempted to, I kind of like that. It feels like I've done something in a different way or I've, I've done something, ask my muscles to do something that they're not accustomed to trying to deliver. And, I, and, and, and I'm tempted to believe that that's progressive. But none of that's true because I'm doing the same shit that I've always done. And previously, the way that I ate, it would it maybe I would be a little bit sore for a day. Maybe. Maybe. And that was with a longer duration workout, higher intensity, uh, more volume, and a little more intensity. And I would be sore for maybe I'd be sore the day after. Never going to be sore for two days anymore, you know been too, uh, too many years doing this. But with the, with the plant-based nutrition, with plants as my source of protein, my only source of protein, I'm not recovering like that. I'm sore for days, for days. I mean, here it is Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Here it is Wednesday, four days after a workout. Well, I train Saturday. So you got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, four days, four days. Five days ago, I, I, I worked out the, the workout I'm referring to, and I'm about, I guess, 98% physically recovered from that as far as what I can sense, what I can feel, what I can detect, what's a detectable um, effect from that, what I put myself through Saturday. So that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. So, again, I can attribute that to the fact that in totality, the amount of protein that I'm getting in is far less than what I'm accustomed to getting in. I'm accustomed to getting in uh, at least a solid 250 grams a day from animal sources. And I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm not sore more than one day, if I'm sore one day even at all, after a workout like that. But now with plants, and again, let me reiterate, I know I'm not getting anywhere near the amount of protein. So that's a huge factor. So you can't discount that that the protein intake is insufficient, you know, clearly. Um, is it insufficient because it, the amount is so little? Or is it insufficient because the quality is so much less or lower, of much lower quality than animal protein? I don't know, but I'm sincerely starting to feel like even when I, if, if I weren't, paying much attention to how I ate, but I was still an omnivore type of eater and eating plant proteins, I mean uh, animal proteins, I would still be recovered much, much, much faster than this, like in a quarter of the time. Same workout, you know, same stimulus. So I'm, I really, you know, I've always been a big guy talking about protein efficiency ratios and trying to explain to you different kinds of proteins. And, you know, all that assimilation rates and factors and all this kind of shit. And uh, this really, really, really drives it home. Uh, the plant protein, I'm sorry, but no one is going to come on here and convince me that plant protein is equivalent to animal protein uh, from a muscle building perspective. It's just not. Does that mean that you should just eat animal protein and, and not even bother with any of this plant shit, you know, for me. No, it doesn't mean that. Um, I'm going to give it more time. 
I'll get better at it. Like I said, I have that conscious muscle protein powder. I don't really utilize it very much, only in the morning. I'm going to have to maybe look into some more supplementation with vegan protein powder. Because at this point, as bloated as I am, I can't eat more food volume-wise. So that's where I'm at right now. The recovery, the material that I'm putting in my body is its not getting the job done as far as from a recovery standpoint. Um, am I losing body fat? Yeah, I'm losing body fat because I'm not eating anywhere near as much food. Of course I'm losing body fat. Caloric intake's a lot lower. Out output's lower. Output's lower, I can tell you that right now. If I were training like I typically train when I'm in the swing of things, man, I would be falling way short on recovery. Way short. Possibly even uh, flirting with a potential injury. So, but I'm not ready to throw the towel in yet. What am I going to do this for a week and a half and then think I know, you know, I've learned something that I can rely on that's concrete? No. So I'm going I'm to keep on going, keep on pushing forward with it. But I'm going to tell you right now, I, I think there's just as much chance that I will remain vegan. Um, and that'll be like a long-term option that, I'll, that I'm going to, uh, you know, road that I'm going to go down and continue to pursue and, and, and walk, path that I'm going to walk. There's as much chance of that happening as there is of me just going back to how I used to eat, but being a little more conscious that I make sure I get more plants in my diet which I wasn't that bad at it before, you know. But uh, I'm going to tell you what right now, and you can give me thumbs down for it all you want, but today I'm going to eat some fish. I'm going to eat some fish because being sore for four days after a moderate workout, I was, for me, moderate, okay? For some people, maybe it'd be pretty hip. For me, moderate workout, that's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. So I am eating some not a whole bunch, not a whole ton, just a serving of fish. I got to do it. I haven't gone back to any dairy. I'm not sure I'm feeling a lot of positive effects from dropping the dairy yet, but uh, we'll see. I'm not sure. Keep you posted. Anyway, that's it. I got to get my shit together, get the hell ready and bundled up and get on my motorcycle and head to work. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.